Uh, is that a yes or a no? Are you ready to go? I stopped giving it to him, so thank the Lord. He don't need this no more because he sleeps perfectly fine now. We're still battling. We're struggling with anxiety, PTSD. I mean, we came home with a different perspective. We're constantly thinking about Abel. It hasn't been the most beautiful one. It's, mm -hmm. it's actually the healing journey is not pretty at all. Yeah. It's very um, vulnerable and ugly and messy, but I think, yes, we want more kids. We do. You got four bags? <laughs> I got Arco's, I got Abel's medicine bags, and I got Abel's clothes bags. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. All right, officially official. It's time to go. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Now today's video is going to be a little on the emotional side for me. As you may know, we are moving. So today I will be packing up Abel's room. It makes me sad, so. I might po possibly cry later on in the video, but so this is the first time we're actually gonna go through all of his things very thoroughly. And we're like, we haven't done that since he passed away. So it's gonna be very hard, I would say. Just remembering all the memories we had here with him and his crib and his little reading area and getting off everything off the walls. Here we go, just join me while I pack his room. I think we're going to start with his books that I had placed under his bed. So we could start with that and then do stuffed animals. And then lastly, clothes. This journal is very special for us. We purchased it when he was born, so all his nurses and Doctors could write in it in the NICU. And there's actually plenty of notes here that I have not seen in a very long time. Also, really quick, I've been thinking about making a NICU essentials video, so if you would like to see that, comment down below, and I'll be more than happy to make it. Back to this journal, the main reason we got it was for memories and to keep track of his milestones in the NICU, and I want to show y'all his footprints when he was born a few days after he was born. <laughs> Disregard the Martinez, that's that was my last name. They go according to the mom last name in the NICU. Yeah. The smallest things take up the most room in your heart. I actually haven't seen it. And they would do these little thingies <laughs> to write down his like calorie intake, how many times they use the restroom. There's another set of footprints right here. It's beautiful. He was 46 days old right here. And it's tiny, like the size of my thumb. Okay, I'm just gonna read a little part of this because I don't think I can read all of it. But I wrote this last year in March 29th, 2019. And I'll just read like the last thing I wrote him. It says, Abel, I want to encourage you to always trust in the Lord. Even if everything around you is falling apart, continue to have faith in God. Mommy and Daddy love you so much. You are a champ and warrior. We believe in you, Abel. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Love, Mommy. That's a word for me now. Mm. Ideally, we wanted to keep this journal and there was just still a lot left and I wanted to give it to him when he turned 18. Babe, hey, you want to help me get this one off? Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> do, I, do I just get a normal chair? Yeah, I'll be all right. I'm well, just like over 200 pounds. I forgot that that one stripped. No. Yeah, remember we stripped it? Oh. Oh! <laughs> Do you need a hand? Yeah, we could put some worship. Hmm. If you want. Yeah. I hear that noise. 
You okay? Yeah. Just need a hug. No, we'll, we'll do that first so it could have something soft under. Of course, he's gonna have his room over there, but still like this room, you know? Got all emotional. What's your happiest moment here that you can remember with Abel? Something you'll never forget. Where we took out the big Lego pieces and he was playing with them. He was actually interacting and being a baby. This is a new one. Of course, I think you guys saw it on Instagram, but we're just getting everything off the walls and then we'll be doing his clothes next. So somebody gave this to us at Relentless Church. That was a word. You are anointed, your hands are blessed from God. You will be used to lay hands on others. The miracles will increase as God gets all the glory. Great is the call upon the child. And the gospel will go forth like an arrow out of his mouth. With signs and wonders, he will carry the generation blessing. Wow, it's beautiful. I don't think anything will break here. I don't think these could break. I'll put fragile. Whoever's gonna carry it. And this last one over here. He has more stuffed animals. Yeah, we're gonna have to go get more boxes. Yeah, because we only have, how many are those over there? Two? Really his clothes are the main thing and a few of his smaller toys up there that can be packed and that'll be it. Hello, Britsy's on break. I'm gonna actually get all of Abel's clothes and i'm really i'm a really quick like let's get to the point so are you doing the hangers yeah leave them on leave them on okay uh yeah my camera gear is on this side of course uh it's a little bit of a mess i have to figure out where are we gonna put all of that this one i think is my favorite able shirt which one i know I love like it. it was just so him yeah so him didn't realize how much clothes Abel had so we actually still have Abel's first haircut hair. We decided to keep this and yeah. Yeah, we'll put it in better. Wow, beautiful. There's this thing down here with all of his socks. Remember that? Oh. But I don't. Um, what? His, his diaper bag is there and the hospital bag is right there. But I mean. I don't think I could do that. Just leave it. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. Help me grow by... Wow. Oh. Thank like you. This is Abel's G-Tube kit. I kept one of each medical supply that he needed, just for memories. So here it is. The rest of the stuff is somewhere in his medical supply bin. Okay, I think that's it for this box. So we thought we were going to be able to vlog as we were packing the rest of Abel's things, but it's been a hectic day. It's been a very stressful, moving day. Yeah, we got all of Abel's room and we got all of the living room. Let me go show y'all real quick. We're done. We're ready to go. Britt. Hi. How you feeling? Stress. Why you stress? Got to clean. It's been a busy day. We got most of the stuff. Basically everything. Literally everything. I just have to clean, but excuse my pimple. Stress. Um, I'm a stress eater, so I eat. Shout out to our helps today. Hey, where's Daisy in them? Daisy, Cuddles, what are y'all doing over here? Come. Come. Say hi. Give a shout out. Cuddles, sit. Good girl. No. All right, guys. So today's closing day. What do I feel? I feel nervous. I feel today's the day. We've been anxious and I mean, eagerly waiting for this day. 
and we're just thankful that the day's here and praying that everything goes smooth and I'm just, wow, it's getting real guys. It's getting really real. Oh look, Brits is here. All right, we got the U-Haul ready to go. Give me like this. Okay. Look at the sign next to you, right there on the on your right. Where will you go next? Mm. So where do you see yourself, Britt? I don't know, dude. I just want to be mentally healthy and physically healthy. Okay, so y'all see that bird right there? When Abel passed away, that same bird would come at her window and just like hit it every morning. Um, for this past month, the bird hasn't showed up, but Britzy was telling me the other day that she had to see the bird one more time before we left. And there it is. The last day here, and the bird's there. All right, officially official. It's time to go. We officially signed, we closed on the house. The Lord. How do you feel that it's over? I literally feel the stress off my body. Really my body. I'm happy, I'm excited. We still have a lot of work to do. But I'm just so glad it's over. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Alright, we're home. This is probably their favorite part. The yard. And then we got some creek over here and then back there we have like an uphill welcome to my crib sorry guys i'm just really happy right now can't believe it still in shock overall happy wow 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 house tour coming soon all right let's get the show going Thank you. 